All right, so we should be good to go here. So this is your second unit um, and it's my favorite unit, unit and it might also be the longest one. So we're doing a couple things here. We are, first off, we're trying to grapple with, and you see it right here in the title, these two terms being and unbeing. What the heck are those? Well, I'm not gonna tell you because that's the first thing you're gonna be doing in this unit is working through these two terms uh, that were kind of coined by a poet named E.E. E. Cummings. And you're gonna look at a lot of different examples that have being and unbeing in them and figure out, well, what the heck is it? So there's that. This is how we start out the unit. Um, the next thing we do is we go through and we listen to a couple songs by a hip hop group called The Roots. You might recognize them um, from Jimmy Fallon. They're kind of the house band for Jimmy Fallon, but they're also um, a pretty significant hip hop group from the history of music. Uh, they're still putting out music today, um, but they're kind of their heyday was the early 2000s. So you'll need to know some context that you'll unpack with your teacher um, about what was going on then with the war in the Middle East and some of the different things the Roots might have been responding to in their music. Um, so after you go through the Roots, uh, you get to do something a little weird and you get to write a poem essay. Okay. So instead of writing an essay, because you're, you're seniors, you've written a lot of essays in your life. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to make an argument with art. Whoa, kind of intimidating, but that's okay. We'll have a lot of examples um, and we'll break it down for you there. So once you've worked through these terms, being and unbeing, you figure out um, what the roots think about being and unbeing. Then we get to do some fun stuff. Uh, at the same time, you'll be doing what's called a poet study. So you'll have a selection of nine or so different poets and you just choose one of those poets and you get a presentation to explore who that person is, uh, kind of what's their style, uh, what are they doing poetically with language, what are they responding to out there in the world? And you'll get to showcase that uh, through a PowerPoint. Uh, I like this presentation a lot. It's self-contained. Uh, there are five sections to it with an optional part six. Um, so you'll be working on your poet study. And um, part of that is also imitating that poet. So writing your own poetry in response to uh, that poet's style. The other part is a poetry portfolio, which is a collection of poems that you, you the student have written. Um, and again, maybe you're like, oh my gosh, like poetry isn't my thing. Like, can't I just write an essay instead? And the answer is no. Uh, challenge yourself a little bit. And a big part of that is it'll be a lot easier to do. One with practice. Obviously, we're not out here going to grade every single poem you write. You're going to have a lot of opportunities to um, rework poems and think about them, uh, but also read a lot of poems. So you're going to Every day, hopefully, you'll be reading a new poem um, and really get a feel for your own poetic voice. At the end of it all, you're going to take every single poem you've written uh, this year and you're going to put it all in a document. And you're going to pick three of those poems and you're going to get a list of different ways to revise and edit those poems. And you are going to revise and edit them, make them look really pretty, really spiffy. And you'll have an opportunity, and you can see my cat just hopped up there behind me. Uh, you'll have an opportunity to get those published. Um, I'll show you how to write a letter um, or your teacher will, teacher will show you how to uh, find different publication resources specifically for high schoolers. It's a little bit easier to get published as a high schooler than just kind of throwing your poem out there into the world. Um, so that's this unit in a nutshell. Um, it's a lot of fun and it's really what you make it. Um, if you show up and you try to be creative, have a little bit, bit of fun with it, you'll do really well. Um, if you're feeling stuck, feeling a little scared about putting yourself out there, um, we'll have to work through that um, because it'll be, it'll be a hard unit, um, but it should be fun. So relax, um, write funny poems, it'll be good. All right, uh, that's about it. Make sure you reach out to your teacher with any questions or concerns. And we'll see you next unit.